Alright guys, today on Man Cave Munchies, I'm going to show you how to make mini Monte Cristo slider sandwiches. And this is what you're going to need. You're going to need some bread, and I'm, you know, again, I prefer to use some nice bread as opposed to using white bread out of a bag. You're going to need some sliced turkey, sliced ham, some Swiss cheese. You're going to need three eggs, one cup of milk, quarter cup of flour, and some raspberry jam. So to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to build our sandwiches. So let me get some of this stuff out of the way. So let me lay out my sandwiches. There you go. Okay. We're going to put some turkey. We're going to put some ham. Each one of these. And we're going to put some cheese. But this is a sandwich a little bit different than a traditional sandwich, and you'll see why in a minute. And there's different schools of thought on this. Some people like to actually deep fry these, but I don't. I like to grill them. I don't like to do a lot of deep frying, but grilling will work just fine. There we go. Get the puppies ready to go. Again, you want to have enough, but not too much. And then I'll show you what the secret ingredient is, is in one second. Okay. Secret ingredient is jam. I'm going to put some raspberry jam. Now, some people serve it with a side of jam, but then that makes it a mess. So what I do is I'm just going to put some jam on the top bread. This one's a little holy, but that's okay. And we're not quite done. This is not just a ham and jam sandwich here. Because the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a custard kind of mixture that's kind of reminiscent of doing French toast. So this is going to be French toast with a French kick. So let's get these all together here. And as I said, there's different variations on this. Some people like to put powdered sugar on top, but I like to make it more like a sandwich. So there we go. We've got our sandwiches made. Then what we're going to do, we're going to make our, our egg bath, which is going to take three eggs. One, two, three. Going to put in our cup of milk. Going to put in our quarter cup of flour. I'm going to take my whisk and beat it into a custard. And again, I don't, I don't buy into the whole deep frying these sandwiches because I don't believe you, it's going to add to the texture or flavor and it's going to make it a heck of a lot less healthy. So what we're going to do is we're going to grill these and my assistant will pan over to the grill in a minute. In fact, I'm going to right. So there we go. Got our liquid and then we're going to take our custard and we're going to dunk the sandwiches into the custard so like i said it's kind of like making french toast and that's why i have the grill so i can do all six sandwiches at the same time so feel free to use the pan if you must it works just as well And like I said, this is something a little different, and that's what we're all about on Man Cave Munchies. Get these in here. Okay. And you usually find out you got a little bit of the egg mix left, and I usually will spoon a little bit of it on top. Another thing you can do if you want is to add a little bit of uh, cinnamon to it. Just to begin, and the whole point is experiment with the flavors. There we go. Cinnamon on these. Okay, and then the trick is you want to let them grill up enough so that they start to cook and melt the cheese at the same time. You want to give it about three minutes on a side. Okay. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of, since I'm using the griddle, I'm going to kind of scooch these all together a little bit because I want to cover it so I kind of let the cheese melt. So I'm going to get a lid. All right. Plate these puppies. As you can see, the cheese is nice and melted. There you go. Mini Monte Cristo slider sandwiches from Man Cave Munchies. Fettuccine Carbonara, just to lick a mommy, is the thing, from Man Cave Munchies. See you next week, gang.